In this video, we will examine how to install MongoDB on a Debian or Ubuntu Linux installation. First of all, you need to find the version of Linux which you are running. Let's go ahead now and switch over to a Debian Linux session. The first step is to open up a terminal window. This can be done by going to Applications, Accessories, and from there selecting Terminal. We can now issue the command uname minus a. This will give us the version of Linux which is currently running on this system. As you can see, this is Debian based and it's 64 bit. If possible, the simplest approach would be to simply open up a browser and then download and install the version of MongoDB. From the built in browser, we go to the mongodb.org website. From there, we select Downloads and we pick the version of Linux which is appropriate for our installation. In this example, we've got the 64 bit version and the 32 bit version. Because we are running a 64 bit version of Linux, we would select the 64 bit version. We could then save the file, shortening the download time for the purposes of this video. The file now has been saved. We can then double click on it, extract the contents to the appropriate place, and then perform the setup procedure from there. The installation procedure is well documented at docs.mongodb.org slash manual slash tutorial slash install dash mongodb dash on dash debian slash. We would download the file, extract it from the archive, copy it to a target directory, configure a search path. We would then need to set up the data directory, make sure that the permissions are appropriately set and then we're ready to start MongoDB. However, in most cases, it's much better to locate the appropriate package for the Linux distribution that you are running. In order to do so, we will follow the instructions listed on install-mongodb-on-debian. The steps are as follows. Import the MongoDB key. Create a sources.list file for MongoDB. And then we can use the command apt get update and app get install in order to install the MongoDB server package and client on this particular Linux installation. The reason why we prefer packages is that the packages have installation scripts which are tailored to this specific system. Let's go ahead now and follow these three steps. First of all, we open up a terminal window. We go to Applications, Accessories, and then we select Terminal. We then import the MongoDB key. The reason why we use the sudo command is that these operations need to be performed as the root user. We now have the key inserted into our Linux system. For the next step, we create a sources.list file for MongoDB. We copy the command in the box. We can then issue this command from the terminal window. In the next step, we reload the package database. After this, we will be ready to perform the actual installation. You'll notice that sometimes you will see an error message, some index files failed to download. This is very typical in many Linux distributions, and in this case, the error will not be considered fatal. We are now ready to install the packages. Again, we use the sudo apt get install command to do this. We see a list of packages which need to be downloaded and installed as compiled. Once the download has completed, the installation script will kick in. Notice that by default, there's a user called MongoDB and a group called MongoDB, which is installed into this Linux distribution. The installation script also automatically starts the MongoDB database instance. To stop the MongoDB database instance, you simply type sudo service mongodb stop. To start it, you do the same thing, except you use the keyword start. And finally, to restart, you use the same sequence, except you would say restart. This is necessary if you change the MongoDB configuration. Configuration will be covered in a separate video. To test the installation, let's connect to the MongoDB instance. We simply type in Mongo. This gives us access to the MongoDB shell. 
From there, we can access the built-in default database. We type in Use MyDB. We can now save a test document. This will create a document with a field A, which has a value of 1. We can now locate the document to verify that the save occurred properly. To do this, we type in db.test.find, open close parentheses. You'll notice we have an object ID, which is randomly generated, a field A with a value of 1. We can then type in exit to leave the database shell. The installation for Ubuntu is identical to the installation which we just went over. The difference is that modern versions of Ubuntu use a facility called Upstart. This is in place of the old style init.d start and stop scripts. Notice some other differences. The location of the distribution source is slightly different. It's under repo Ubuntu upstart rather than the installation which was indicated as part of the Debian instructions. You'll also notice that for Ubuntu, you use sudo service mongodb start, stop, and restart. However, these commands work just as well on any Debian installation. So in review, for installing MongoDB on Debian or Ubuntu Linux, first of all, make sure that you find the appropriate version of Linux which is running on your system. To do this, you can type in uname space minus a from a terminal window. Be sure to pay attention to whether it's 32-bit or 64-bit. You can then simply download from the browser, double-click on the completed file name, extract to the appropriate folder, create the MongoDB user, create the slash data slash db folder, and then assign ownership to the MongoDB user. However, it's probably better to use the appropriate package. For Ubuntu Linux, you would first of all import the MongoDB public key. You would then need to configure your software sources list. Notice that the repository is under Ubuntu-Upstart. This is very important to recognize because Ubuntu Linux uses Upstart, whereas Debian Linux, on the other hand, uses a very similar set of commands. However, it uses an older style series of init methods. Thus, the repository in this case is debian sys v init, which was actually an abbreviation for system5 init, system5 being an older version of Unix. To start MongoDB, you could type in sudo service mongod start. To stop, you use the word stop instead of start. And finally, you can restart by simply typing in the word restart. After that, to test the installation, open another command prompt or terminal window, start the MongoDB service as mentioned previously, connect to the MongoDB shell by typing in Mongo. You can then use the default database by typing in use mydb. You would then save a test document by typing in db.test.save. Notice the syntax, it's JSON syntax, open curly brace, field name, in this case A, colon, value, in this case one, close the curly brace, and then close the parentheses. You can then type in db.test.find, open close parentheses, to get a list of documents currently within the test database. 